His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Theresa May, during which they discussed the deep-rooted historic friendly relations between the two countries and ways of enhancing joint cooperation in all fields. On the occasion of the 200th anniversary of bilateral relations, His Majesty the King invited the Prime Minister to visit Bahrain, wishing her continued success and for the British people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today the outgoing Jordanian ambassador to Bahrain, Mohammed Siraj. His Majesty commended the deep rooted brotherly relations between the two countries and their people, highlighting the strong joint cooperation in the various fields. He asked the ambassador to convey his greetings to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein, the monarch of Jordan, and his good wishes to the people of Jordan for further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King also noted the tremendous efforts exerted by the ambassador in further boosting bilateral relations, wishing him continued success. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation for the support he has received during his diplomatic term in Bahrain, which facilitated his work. He also hailed His Majesty's care for Bahraini-Jordanian ties, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity under its wise leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today board members of the Central Bank of Bahrain, the CBB, higher management and bank officials led by the CBB Governor Rashid Al Maraj. Al Maraj presented His Majesty the King with a medal on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of issuing the Bahraini dinar in 1965. His Majesty the King commended the tremendous efforts of the CBB to ensure preserving Bahrain's financial status and the strength of its economy in the light of the essential contributions of banking services in strengthening the national economy. He hailed the efforts of CBB officials in serving the kingdom and reinforcing its outstanding status in the fields of financial and banking services. He noted the role of CBB in attracting investments and developing the banking sector, highlighting CBB's international standards that help Bahrain in becoming a regional hub for financial and banking services. His Majesty the King confirmed Bahrain's continuity to reinforce various economic sectors and diverse diversifying its tools to achieve sustainable development in support of Bahrain's financial and economic status. He also wished the board members of CBB, its higher management and all its staff continued success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today board members of the Central Bank of Bahrain, the CBB, an executive management led by the CBB Governor Rashid Al Maraj. The Prime Minister directed to adopt banking and financial policies that guarantee preserving financial stability in the kingdom amid the ongoing international economic challenges so as to avoid, avoid any impact on the national economy. He called on strengthening the economy as it is the core foundation for sustainable development that the government is keen to achieve. His Royal Highness praised the role of the CBB in following governmental directives regarding monetary and financial policies through providing an encouraging environment for its staff. In this regard, the Prime Minister directed to study establishing a new building for the CBB that would include necessary modern equipment that supports its financial and banking services. His Royal Highness was briefed on the plans and programs of the bank in line with the directives of His Royal Highness regarding the monetary and financial strategies of the Kingdom to reinforce its capability in dealing with global economic challenges. The Prime Minister was also presented a number of coins on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of issuing Bahrain's first currency. His Royal Highness expressed confidence in the ability of the CBB's board to take necessary steps to achieve financial stability and encourage investment in the banking sector. For his part, Al Maharaj expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his tremendous efforts to develop the national economy, highlighting his constant directives and follow-up on the financial and banking developments that contributed in reinforcing Bahrain's capability in dealing with different international economic challenges.
a representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the General Secretary of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Sadig, in the presence of the Head of Bahrain Martial Arts Association, Ahmed Al Khayyat, who presented to His Highness the Al Doi Sports Center team, who won four colored medals, two silvers and two bronzes at the International Club's Open Taekwondo Championship, which was held in Jordan. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the players and staff of Al Doi Center on the occasion of their achievement. He congratulated the winners, saying they had been good ambassadors for Bahrain sports in international functions, wishing them continued success. The Director of Housing Services Department, Sami Gambar, announced that the Ministry of Housing has started distributing Arad Housing Units project, which comes in line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Conference, stipulating the distribution of 3,000 housing units across the Kingdom's governance. He affirmed that the Department conducted all preparation work necessary for distributing the units to the beneficiaries, as well as ensuring maintenance work are extended of all units. Engineer Gambar affirmed the continuous follow up by the Housing Minister, Basim Al Hamar, affirming on the Minister's directives to speed up housing projects implementation and ensuring to provide the services needed by all the units.